Let's go meet the dwarf planets. There are five in our solar system. Let's go meet the dwarf planets. I'm Ceres, the closest dwarf planet to our sun, named after the harvest goddess of the Romans, the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system. I am not an asteroid, but I live with them. Dwarf planets all must have these main traits. We must have an almost spherical shape. An orbit round the sun. We can't be moons, you see. And we can't have broken free from surrounding space debris. I make up nearly one third of all the mass in the asteroid belt here. But I'm not called a planet, even though I am a sphere. I share my orbit with all of the asteroids around me, which scientists consider to be the space debris. Ceres, the closest dwarf planet to our sun, named after the harvest goddess of the Romans. The largest object in the asteroid belt, that's me. But I'm still the smallest of the dwarf planets you meet. I was spotted by Giuseppe Piazzi in 1801. He thought I was a planet orbiting the sun. Around 50 years later, I was called an asteroid after more asteroids were discovered sharing the same orbit I enjoyed. Technically, I was the first asteroid to be discovered, and almost 50 more years passed until the truth was uncovered. In 2006, the scientists finally agreed that dwarf planet is the best classification for me. And Ceres, the closest dwarf planet to our sun, named after the patron goddess of the Sicilians. I live in the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars, but I'm not an asteroid. I'm too round and large. I take 1,682 Earth days to orbit round the sun, but only nine hours to complete one rotation. I don't have any moons orbiting around me, but I have plenty of asteroid friends to keep me company. A new element was discovered in 1803, an abundant rare earth metal named cerium, after me. Found in the Earth's crust is where it tends to be. It's used in ovens, lighters, light bulbs, and even flat screen TVs. I'm Ceres, the closest dwarf planet to our sun, named after the harvest goddess of the Romans. The word cereal, as in breakfast, comes from my name, contributing even more to my increasing fame. The first dwarf planet visited by Spacecraft in 2015. Spacecraft on discovered several bright glowing spots on me. Called faculae, these spots are a kind of salt, sodium carbonates, found in my Ocator crater, left from liquid that evaporates. I have water on me, an underground sea, which means that alien life is a possibility. I'm losing six kilograms of mass per second from water vapor I release. Plumes eject into space from below my surface underneath. I'm Ceres, the closest dwarf planet to our sun, named after the harvest goddess of the Romans. I live in the asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars, but I'm not an asteroid, I'm too round and large. I'm mostly covered in small craters, but that's not all you'll see. I have a very tall mountain, Ahuna Mons, on me. Because I have water and minerals all over, I'm a potential location for humans to explore, and even human colonization. The closest dwarf planet to Earth, between Jupiter and Mars. From Earth's surface, I look like a very faint star. I'm very small and dim, and hard to see with just your eyes. But with a telescope, you can find me in your night sky. And Ceres, the closest dwarf planet to our sun, named after the harvest goddess of the Romans. The closest and the smallest dwarf planet that you'll meet. Maybe someday you will visit me. Six 
I was demoted from planet and left out on my own. But as it turns out, I have my own family. And I'm not alone. I have five moons, more than Mars, Earth, Venus, and Mercury. My largest moon, Charon, is half the size of me. We're called a dwarf planet system that is binary. We rotate around the same point and are tightly locked, you see. Charon's orbital period and my rotational period are the same. Charon never rises or sets. Its position will never change. All of my moons are named from Greek mythology. Charon after the ferryman of the dead. Ooh, creepy. Nyx is named for the Greek goddess of the night. Kelros after the three-headed guard dog of the underworld. He bites. Hydra is named for the serpent with also many heads. And Styx is named after the river of the dead. I am dwarf planet Pluto, the most famous dwarf planet that you know. With so many secrets to be unfurled. Named after the Roman god of the underworld. You'll need a warm coat to visit me. My temperatures get as low as negative 238 degrees. From my surface, I'm so far from the sun that its light looks and feels just like a moonlit night. I am dwarf planet planet to the sun you know with more moons than all the terrestrial planets combined and an orbit around the sun that is inclined take 153 hours to complete one rotation i rotate in retrograde or the opposite direction if you were standing on my surface you would see the sun would rise in the west and set in the east my atmosphere is methane carbon monoxide and mostly nitrogen is thickest when i'm close to the sun at perihelion the farther i go from the sun the colder the gases get until they solidify freeze and snow down to my surface so when i'm closer to the sun i have a thicker atmosphere and when i move farther away it starts to disappear the new horizon spacecraft captured images you can see that show a bluish atmospheric haze surrounding me i am dwarf planet pluto the most famous dwarf planet that you know with so many secrets to be unfurled and after the roman god of the underworld i used to be planet number nine but that was before a planet was defined i orbit in the kuiper belt i haven't broken free so dwarf planet is what they now call me i am dwarf planet pluto i'm smaller than your moon about two-thirds the size or so i'm half the width of the united states approximately i may be small but i have a big personality an 11 year old girl named venetia Burney from oxford england is the one who named me she thought the god of the underworld had a name that fits suitably i was such an exciting discovery even disney's lovable dog pluto was named after me i also have an element named after me plutonium was discovered in 1940 new horizon spacecraft visited me in 2015 capturing images that have never been seen i have a big heart my most lovable trait called the tomba regio a thousand miles wide it's great i am dwarf planet pluto the most famous dwarf planet that you know with so many secrets to be unfurled named after the roman god of the unknown planet to the sun you know with more moons than all the terrestrial planets combined and an orbit around the sun that is inclined i used to be planet number nine but i never quite fit in because i'm one of a kind a dwarf planet is what they call me now whatever they call me i know i'm awesome anyhow My spin is turbo powered. I have a very fast rotation rate. One day on me is less than four hours. It's because of my super fast rotation that I got stretched out at both my ends. My days are short, but my years are long because I am so very far away. 285 Earth years to orbit the sun. That's about 640,000 of my days. That means I have to wait a very long time until I have the next birthday party of mine. Dwarf planet Almeida, the third dwarf planet from our sun. Of all of the dwarf planets, I am the most bizarre one. I'm known as a trans-Neptunian object, which means I live further out than 
Neptune gets. I live way out in the Kuiper Belt, but I never get lonely. I have two moons orbiting me. We're named from Hawaiian mythology. I'm named after the Hawaiian goddess, Hawaii's mother and guardian. My moons are named after her daughters. Namaka is the name of my inner moon, named after the goddess of sea and water. Hiaka is the name of my outer moon. Hiaka is named after the goddess of hula dance. We travel together through this great expanse. I am your planet Haumea, the third dwarf planet from our sun. Of all of the dwarf planets, I am the most bizarre one. Here is another quite peculiar thing. I was the first Kuiper Belt object discovered to have a ring. I was part of a collision long ago, which caused my super fast spinning. And that collision was probably responsible for the creation of my moons and ring. I also have a giant red spot, which astronomers believe is where I was hit. I am not particularly large, no. Pluto and I are similar in size, but if you look up through a telescope, you can sometimes see us both with your own eyes. I'm the third brightest Kuiper Belt object you can see. After Pluto and Make Make, the brightest one is me. I am dwarf planet Haumea, the third dwarf planet from our sun. Of all of the dwarf planets, I am the most bizarre one. My rocky surface is covered in ice. It reflects the light, making me very bright. I'm made up of mostly rock and ice, and my daughter Hiiaka takes after me. She also has a crystalline ice surface. Making us both reflective and shiny. I was discovered in December 2004, and before I was given my official name, astronomers referred to me as Santa, and that became my nickname. They also nicknamed both my moons here, Rudolph and Blitzen after Santa's reindeer. In 2008, an official dwarf planet is what I became, and that is when I received my official name. I am dwarf planet Almeida. The third dwarf planet from our sun. Of all of the dwarf planets, I am the most bizarre one. The fourth dwarf planet from our sun, and I am the reddest one named after the god of creation. I'm lucky, lucky. Discovered in 2005, also called 2000 FY9, the Kuiper Belt is where I reside. Mucky, mucky. One day on me is 22 and a half hours, similar to days on Earth and Mars. One year is 305 Earth years. That's a long time for this small sphere. It takes over six hours for sun's light to reach me, because I'm over four billion miles away, you see. If the sun's light went out, I wouldn't know for over six hours. Scary. A mucky, mucky. So far from the sun, it isn't sunny. Discovered around Easter, and this is funny, I was nicknamed Easter Bunny. A mucky, mucky. Named for a god of Easter Island, Rapanui, from Polynesian mythology. He was the creator of humanity. He's Maki Maki. I have one moon, MK2, with me. Discovered by Hubble in 2016. It's about 100 miles wide and much darker than me. I'm 1,300 times brighter than my little moon, you see. Some astronomers think I have a second moon that's hiding. Maybe. Maki Maki. I have an inclined orbit, you see. It tilts about 29 degrees. How many orbits just like me? A mucky mucky. It's extremely cold on me. Temperatures as low as negative 406 degrees. If you visit it, you would freeze. Brr, a mucky mucky. I don't have an atmosphere, even though scientists thought there was one here. I was observed passing in front of a star, you see, which showed that there is no atmosphere around me. But I have craters as far as the eye can see. It's crazy. Mucky mucky. Discovered in 2005, similar to Pluto, but two-thirds the size. The Kuiper Belt is where I thrive. A mucky mucky. Michael E. Brown and his team are the ones who discovered me from the Palomar Observatory. I'm Easter Bunny. The discovery of how Maya Eris and I led to Pluto being reclassified. We are like planets, but not quite the same. So scientists decided to give us another name. Dwarf planets is now our own special category. We haven't cleared all the space debris. A mucky mucky. The fourth dwarf planet from our sun. And I am the reddest one named after the god of creation. A mucky mucky. Discovered in 2005, also called 2000. That's why nine, the Kuiper Belt is where I reside. A mucky mucky. I'm the second brightest object in the Kuiper Belt. I'm covered in methane and ethane ice that doesn't melt. Making me red in color with a reflective bright surface. Look for me with your telescope. I'm small, but nevertheless. Sure to impress! I am a 
Here is the fifth dwarf planet from our sun, the second largest dwarf planet and the most massive one. Named after the Greek goddess of discord and chaos, one of the most free-spirited dwarf planets that you'll come across. I have one moon dysnomia, whose name means anarchy. Before getting our official names, astronomers had a different idea for me. They wanted to call me Xena, the warrior princess, and my moon Gabrielle, her sidekick. But they kept tradition and named me after a mythological deity like the planet. I am Eris, the fifth dwarf planet from our sun, the second largest dwarf planet and the most massive one. Named after the Greek goddess of chaos and discord, my super inclined orbit makes me impossible to ignore. One Iridian day is just a little longer than one Earth day. It takes approximately 25.9 hours for me to rotate. I orbit the sun every 557 Earth years on a path on my own. My orbit is at a 44 degree angle from the rest of the solar system. I live out in the Kuiper belt, but at Aphelion I go beyond it. And when I'm at Perihelion, I'm not the furthest dwarf planet. My eccentric angled elliptical orbit crosses several others' orbits. So, I can be closer to the sun than even Pluto gets. I am Eris, the fifth dwarf planet from our sun, the second largest dwarf planet and the most massive one. I was found by Mike Brown, Chad Trujillo, and David Rabinowitz. They wanted to call me Xena, but that name just didn't stick. The astronomers first spotted me in October of 2003 while making observations at the Palomar Observatory. But confirmation of my existence took a lot of time and my discovery wasn't confirmed until January 2005. At first, they thought that I would be planet number 10. Pluto was still considered planet number 9 back then. But because of my discovery, Haumea and Make Make, planets were redefined, and dwarf planets are what we're called today. I am Eris, the fifth dwarf planet from our sun, the second largest dwarf planet and the most massive one. I have strong gravity compared to other dwarf planets, but not nearly as strong as the gravity on your planet. Compared to Earth, I have much less gravity. If you were to visit, you would weigh a lot less on me. If we weighed you in pounds and you weighed 160, you would only weigh 13 pounds on me. My rocky surface is covered in frozen methane and nitrogen ice, which makes me very reflective, bright and shiny and nice. I reflect almost all of the light that reaches me, just like a mirror would reflect, you see. I am Eris, the fifth dwarf planet from our sun, the second largest dwarf planet and the most massive one. It takes over nine hours for sun's light to reach me, because I am extremely far away, you see. I'm so far from the sun, it gets really cold on me. Temperatures as low as negative 405 degrees. My temperatures vary a little as I travel closer to the sun, but won't get much higher than negative 360 degrees when I'm at perihelion. Some scientists believe that I might generate my own heat. That could mean that I have an internal ocean on me. Confirmation of this theory would take a lot more study, but maybe, just maybe, there's hidden life on me. I am Eris, the fifth dwarf planet from our sun, the second largest dwarf planet and the most massive one. Named after the Greek goddess of discord and chaos, maybe someday you'll visit and our paths will cross. We hope you enjoyed Meet the Dwarf Planets. Stay tuned for new episodes of Meet the Dwarf Planet Candidates coming soon. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.